Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new, I hope you're all doing well and welcome back to my May TBR video. I say this every month, but how are we in May? I, ah! <laughs> um, I have a lot of plans in terms of content in May and I know I've kind of like been a little bit out of the social media area of my life right now but I've just a lot's been going on in my personal life and I've just kind of like given that a little bit of a sidestep but I'm ready to come back and conquer May really well so I have a couple of reading vlogs I would like to tackle in May a themed reading vlog is coming and also a really interesting video in my personal opinion is coming um, a little sneak peek is I Hate Beach Read by Emily Henry and I have a reading vlog surrounding that concept coming as well so I have a few books that a kind of in my mind that I kind of need slash want to read that I don't want to tell you guys about because I don't want to spoil the reading vlogs that I have planned coming so I'm not going to pick many books in today's video but at the end of the day I love picking my TBR anyway even if I don't get to the books that her picked out in this video so I'm going to do two good reads choices if you haven't seen my TBR videos before two good read choices basically means I go onto my physical TBR on my good reads and I get a random number generator up and the book that correlates with the random number that gets given I will read this just basically means all control is out of my hands and good reads picks what I read for the month so I'm going to do two of those and then I'm going to pick two prompt pools which is my TBR jar this is full of prompts ranging from TBR vet to shorter than your last read, random colour, etc etc. So I'm going to pull two of these as well. So in today's video there'll be four book choices that are picked and then and hopefully I can read all those four alongside the books that I would like to read for the videos I have planned. And that's all the maintenance I have for me. So without further ado let's head into my Goodreads choices because I just like getting the fear of the unknown out of the way. So let's go to my physical TBR. In April, if you didn't know, I did a whole prompt to prompt challenge where I was trying to cut down my physical TBR. And I can say that I've read about six books of my physical TBR. So my physical TBR is currently standing at 36, which I think is very good seeing as it was kind of getting up to the low to mid 40s at one point. So it's nice to be back down in the 30s. However, let's get a run random number generator out. So go to numbers 1 to 36. <laughs> I'm always scared. Generate number 32. Okay. So I have 36. So I'm going to go right down to the bottom. And count upwards. So 36, 35, 34, 32. Only from editing this do I realise that I completely counted incorrectly and I picked 33 rather than 32. Oops. And that's The Real Easy by Marie Koskowski. But this is one of the books that potentially could be a themed reading vlog. Um, I have a couple of themed reading vlog ideas and I was kind of basing off what books were picked in this TBR to which one I was going to film this month. So this could potentially be part of one of the themed reading vlogs. Let me go get it quickly. I acquired this book via Rare Birds Book Club where they did the advent calendar where you get given 24 doors and behind each door is a random book synopsis and then you pick four of those synopsis and they send you those books. And this was one of the synopsis I chose, synopsis I chose. Uh, this is a real easy and this basically follows our main character Samantha who owns or has danced at this lovely lady strip club for years and she's always kind of kind of flown solo she's never kind of been one to uh, gather a lot of friends or have a lot of people close to her but then one day when a new dancer at the strip club needs a ride home car is run off the road and only one survives oh and when the police arrive at the scene they only find one body so it's kind of like a strip club murder mystery and i've been wanting to read this for so long the synopsis that rare birds book club gave me really pulled me in and I'm excited to have this officially on my TBR because it definitely will give me the push to read it and I'm actually really excited so yay for Goodreads, one point up, thank you Goodreads for picking this one. Random generate book number two, number ten, this could be a completely different vibe because I always order them oldest to newest on my TBR so let's find out what number ten is, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten, okay interesting. 
This is Friends and Strangers by J. Courtney Sullivan and this was kindly gifted to me by Chloe from Chloe Reads Books. You guys all know her by now. Um, it kind of matches my jumper. This is the Disney 100th jumper. Um, so if I had match book to outfit, totally would have worked. Um, this book is a adult contemporary book that basically follows our main character, Elizabeth, who is an accomplished journalist, but she's also a new mother who's kind of really struggling to navigate those two different paths in her life. And when she's starting to neglect her work that she has so much passion for, she decides to hire a babysitter called Sam, who is a senior at the local college. Into Sam, and she has always had a planned path out for her. But when she starts to babysit for Elizabeth, she starts to grow feelings for Elizabeth, Elizabeth's father-in-law and the story progresses from there and it sounds like a really really interesting topic so I'm actually really excited to read it. It is dense though so hopefully I can find the audiobook to help me out because if you have watched my April wrap-up, if you're watching this first, my April wrap-up is coming later this week. Um, I had an incredible reading month in April and then the last week I've kind of been in a slump, which is when I'm filming this video. So I'm hoping I can get out of my slump pretty quickly. I have a weekend reading vlog happening right now, which is to get myself out of the slump. So hopefully I can read this book no problem, but it is quite dense. So fingers crossed it will read easily anyway. I'm really excited to read this book as well. So Goodreads has picked Real Easy and Friends and Strangers for what I'm going to read in May. So thank you, Goodreads. I'm thanking you like you're a person. You're not. Thank you, Chloe. And thank you, Rare Books, really. <laughs> now let's move on to my two prompt pulls I'm going to do for the month of May. So the first one being, and the side note, because I have prompts that are curled rather than kind of like folded, if you get, if I pull a prompt that is intertwined with another one I have to try and fulfill the two prompts with one book so let's pull the first prompt it's always so nerve-wracking I don't know why and before I pull this prompt which I think is two prompts in one I am allowed one veto which basically means if I really don't vibe with that prompt I can skip it and just pick another one so the two prompts for this are a middle grade that is popular on booktube slash instagram and that is tricky because i don't tend to follow many people who read middle grades to get many recommendations for middle grades on social media i tend to find my own middle grades that i want to read however i have a middle grade that has been on and off my tbr the whole month of april as well as just kind of like eyeing me up recently and I know that How to Train Your Gavin, Gavin from How to Train Your Gavin, loves this trilogy and it's the only booktuber that I watch that reads a lot of middle grade and that I trust with middle grade recommendations and that is the Front Desk series by Kelly Yang and I have the second book in that series to read, Three Keys by Kelly Yang. So once again, also matches my hoodie. Um, so this is the book I'm going to pick for this one. Fairly easy to fulfill. Not many people I know have spoken about this book, but person who I trust most when, when it comes to middle grade recommendations, Gavin, does enjoy this series and I do need to get it read. So I'm going to go for this one. My game, my rules, yes. <laughs> this basically follows our main character Mia. The first book follows her as her family and herself move to America from China to start working in a motel and a lot of issues arise in the first book and this is basically a continuation. Mia is a very aspiring writer so she writes a lot and it's just a really good book, middle grade, that kind of surrounds yourself about around friends and family and kind of like this new adventure that Mia's going on and I really enjoyed the first one and I've been eager to get to the second one so that is this book. And then the last prompt pull for May, keeping it short because I do have those themed reading vlogs I'd like to read. The first themed reading vlog will have three books featured and then I have another one book reading vlog. So it's going to be intense if I get around to all, all eight of these books. So let's go for this one. And it is less than 300 pages. Less than 300 pages. I don't have many options on my TBR for less than 300 pages. And the one that definitely screams to me, and I think maybe the only one that's under 300 pages in my TBR. I actually think I've got two options. The one that kind of shouted at me instantly came to mind when I read the prompt is Crying in Hate Mart by Michelle 
I don't know how to pronounce her name, I'm sorry. This is a non-fiction book and this book basically follows Michelle and the surname here, who is a Korean American woman and when she has to deal with the early death of her mother, she starts to kind of use food as a coping mechanism and this book basically follows her when she comes to term with her mother's death um, and the role the food played in their relationship. Something along the lines of that, I've heard nothing but incredible things about this book and I'm excited to read it, wasn't expecting to have it on my TBR this month, but that is a possibility. And then I think Seven Day Switch by Kelly Arms is also under 300 pages, according to Just. It's 298 pages. It is just under 300 pages. And this is the Seven, K the seven Day Switch by Kelly Arms. I've heard no one talk about this book. And this is because my lovely friend over on this, in this community, Z, brought me this book and gifted it to me um, for Christmas in 2021, I believe. I'm sorry, I still haven't read it. But she wrote basically, why I would love this book and every single time I talk about this book I just read off this list because when you read the list you understand why she got it for me and it's because there's Disney references, <laughs> it's a, one character has a spin bike, my spin bike is literally just off frame there, it's written in dual perspective, the characters are in their late 20s early 30s which I also love and this also kind of matches my hoodie, um, it's about female friendship, tick, it's character driven, tick, and it's kind of unpopular on booktube and you'll fly through it because it's less than 300 pages. So this is also definitely an option. I'm going to say both of these books for this prompt and then when I come round to reading I will kind of mood pick which one I kind of want because these are the only two books on my TBR that are less than 300 pages anyway. So I only have these sorts of choices. So that's what I'm going to do just because I am kind of in a mini slump and I don't want to pressure myself to read certain books anyway when I can kind of have a little bit of a choice. So these are the two books that I could potentially read for less than 300 pages. So overall in the month of May I'm hoping to read four unknown books to you right now. Obviously I know what they are. And then Goodreads chose for me Real Easy, Friends and Strangers and then the Prompt Pools picked Three Keys as well as either Crying and H Mart or The Seven Day Switch by Kelly Arms. So that is my May TBR. I feel like very nice, short and sweet. Uh, but let me know in the comments down below what books you're planning on reading in the month of May. Have you read any of the books I'm planning on reading? What are your thoughts? Spoiler free, of course. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a massive thumbs up and subscribe down below to see future content from me. I do anything from TBRs, wrap ups, reading vlogs, themed reading vlogs, fun bookish content. I have it all here on this channel. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any future uploads. And without further ado, I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.